Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope everybody's having a good week. Lots of stuff in the sky. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen. Just like the picture says, don't be fooled by flares. Flares are for fools. Anyway. <laughs> Got some pretty decent footage today. I'm going to be doing a lot of backtracking and forward and back, forward and back. So, here we go. First thing I wanted to point out, these little clouds here at the bottom, those are ours. The closest layer of clouds are ours. If it is really dark and blurry behind our clouds, heading for the sun, it's a cast shadow. There are no solid black clouds at that altitude. To see upper atmosphere and shaded sky should be raising flags, but people ignore it, and they're missing something epic. So let's watch. Like I said, these are our clouds, the ones that are actually moving. The ones in the background, they're just shadow, basically. Um, you can see how this is there, and this is obviously there, because they're moving in different. But they're, they're there. I mean, they're reflecting a whole lot of light all by themselves. We'll back it up and show you again, because it looks a little different when it's sped up. So they're just sitting there. Look at that. Just sitting there. Sitting there. Sitting there. Next location. First thing I see is this. Clouds coming around the bottom pinch point of where the light's actually going around. But all this up here being blocked. See all that? Light's coming down and under. You see the cast shadows. The breaking light. You can even see the planet up there once the sun starts to go down just a little bit. See that? That looks like the other day from that other location. Side lit, dark side, light going under. The darker it gets, the more you can see it. I mean, there's only a short window for seeing these planets when the sun's going down, and that's about, that was it. See how the light's going down and under? How it's cut off right here? Pinch point. And even when the sun is going back up, you know, and it's not changing anything. I mean, the, the light's still being cut off quite a bit. See the shadow line? This is showing you that edge of that planet. And it's way far away. Let's have a better look. See that back there in the background there? That blurry, dark thing that was barely lit up. It was lit up the other day quite well. I think a lot of people are stuck on it looking like the moon or something. I don't know. It's not going to look like the moon. <laughs> it's going to be much bigger than the moon. And it's not going to be fully illuminated like a, like a flare. Flares are just like the sun. Fully illuminated. Fully round. You see the full moon look of it. If you see a planet in the sky, it's not going to look like that. It's not going to look like a flare. It's going to look like a big dark side because it's in between us and the sun, and all we're catching is the back side of it, which is going to be dark. It's going to be blocking light, but it will look like blue sky because why wouldn't it? It would just be a little darker shade of blue. But then I've been pointing that out for years now. The darker shades of blue. The areas of sky that don't receive the light that is obviously behind the clouds, so why aren't the clouds lit up? You know what I'm saying? It's not because they're thick. <laughs> it's the ones that are way up in the beyond our stratosphere. The big dark areas that just don't let the light by. They reflect the light quite a bit, but that's about it. And right here, see this one right here? It's moving. You can see it, it's red. And you got this one over here, and you got this one above. And you'll notice that one is above because it's going to cast a shadow. See, right there, boom. You can see planets. They're not invisible, they are right there. It's like looking through a dirty pool. You know, you can barely see what's out there, but it's there. <laughs> 
If it wasn't there, we wouldn't have so much light being blocked all the time. See all this reflection of light here? It's not hard to see. I mean, look at the shadow up there. Look at this shadowed area. And it's really hard to see the shadowed area sometimes. But they are there. Usually the sun has the atmosphere so lit up we can't see anything. But lately we can see a lot of things. Like this area over here to the left. How dark it's going to stay. See how the shadow just stays there? You know, all the clouds keep moving. And they're, you know, they're, they're not even our clouds. They're way, 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 way out there. See, I think people have lost their depth perception, mostly. I mean, they think everything in the, in the sky is a cloud, and guess what? We, we had one layer of clouds forever. The only reason we can see anything above those layers is because it's been dark-er. It's showing more. I mean, ha there's no storm system that high up in our atmosphere. See all the clouds on the bottom? Those are ours. Everything way, way, way beyond them and, you know, behind them, that's not our stuff. When do you ever remember clouds casting shadows on top of other clouds? That's unheard of. There's no round clouds. There's no clouds above clouds. There's thunderheads that go up from the clouds that build at the bottom, but the ones that build at the bottom are the ones that are, are going to rain. They're the ones that are dark. Anything above those, like that, that's not, that's, you know, that's beyond our atmosphere. There's no way. There are no storm systems in the upper atmosphere. I mean, that, that's all ice and, you know, just barely turning into clouds. I mean, it's not even water yet. <laughs> I mean, it has to build and, you know, get lower and build some more and all the clouds, you know, on our ceiling basically would be black and raining. But there are no black clouds beyond our clouds. Those are other things in, in the sky. The things that are just brighten everything up and first thing in the morning and cutting off light right here. I mean, you just see it's cutting off light. I mean, look at this. Does that look normal? The sun isn't even coming down, it's just sitting in one spot. It hasn't moved. You know you know what you know why? Because we're seeing the light coming out the bottom from behind a planet, at the bottom of it. So it's just gonna sit there until the sun catches up to it. Just like when you know the moon gets in front of the sun, you can see the light on the side of the planet long before the sun ever gets there. And we're talking about the same thing here. You know, like the sun in the last piece of footage where it just sat at the bottom, you know, just sitting there. The sun just don't sit in one spot. <laughs> it's moving. Or we're moving. It's moving. Everything's moving, really. Look at this big shadow up here. You think that's something? I, I believe it is something. Because it's been in every piece of footage. It'll even be in this footage. I mean, look at this big dark circle. That was a cast shadow. The sun comes down and it goes up. But it's also starting to reflect a whole lot of light back over here. See how it's wrapping around something here? It's illuminating everything. There's the sun going down right there. Boom. Look at all this light. Look at all this being blocked by whatever was right there. <laughs> Let's back it up and look again. Because, you know, the light is going around something. That's why there's so much light. Because it's coming down from behind something else. And we're just getting the light everywhere. Because, you know, light's going to get to us regardless. I mean, you see how weird of a color it is back up in there when you can see through the clouds. But I mean, look at these shadows. I mean, they're just, 
It's the, it, the, the sun's just wrapping around the side of something the whole time. Look at it. Now, now you see the, what the something was. It's reflecting all that light. Can't hardly miss it. All right, same goes here. The sun comes down and it, all the light is bending down and around this whole area. See how it's only bright right here? Everything behind that is dark. See that? Watch. Bright, dark. Bright, dark. <laughs> See? Oh, look at that. Edge. That was edge. I saw edge. I'm excited. That was cool. See how that sun is coming up from behind that? See, all of this is dark. All of this was bending light around it, and it still is. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, no, I haven't seen any of the footage yet. I'm just, you know, doing it on the fly here. I mean, it's pretty simple. You see the light coming up, and you see how all of the light above is way more bright. And then all of a sudden, we got these shadows moving across the sky. That's because the sun is going up behind something. And it's just got light coming all around it right now. It's not big enough to cover the entire sun. So, it, I mean, it's got a lot of light coming around the sides. And here's a cast shadow starting. And it's getting darker and darker and darker over there. It's because it's coming up behind something. See, all of this is in the shade. It should all be lit up. And there's the moon setting in the west while the sun is coming up in the east behind. Uh, as you can see, these clouds back here, they're not clouds. They're, in, they're behind the moon. They're not even in front of the moon. They're way behind the moon. See, the light's coming up around this round thing right here. See how it got dark again? See how the light is wrapping around something? It's not our sky. It's something else. See how the light went down and under? And all of this is now a cast shadow? This should all be really bright. But instead, we're looking at the same thing we've been seeing in every location. Great big cast shadow. Light coming all around everywhere else. And if I wouldn't, if I didn't know any better, I'd say the same thing is rotating in front of us. But it's hard to tell because, like I said, it's like looking through a dirty swimming pool. You know, you're not going to see everything clearly. It's not going to be like a flare. <laughs> That's what amazes me. See how the light wrapped around that as it came up. See, the moon is a lot closer than all that stuff. That stuff isn't even bothering the moon. <laughs> and you can see how it wrapped around from bottom, or top to bottom. Because the sun was hitting top first, and then it wrapped down as it came up. And now all the light's going down and under and behind. It's because this is something. And it's not real close to us. It's way out there. But it's still there. So it's blocking light. It's casting shadows. Here's the sun going down, same location that night. You can see all these clouds in the background that they're they're in the dark. The light is breaking down and forcing under. The the blue sky is pinching down on top of the sun. And you know that doesn't make sense. So think about what I've said. Please share. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please share. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.